Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video of Best of Luck here. And today we're going to be looking at the DC Extended Universe Ares from the Wonder Woman movie toy line. Now, this figure I've been wanting to get for the longest time, so I just got it recently. So I'm going to take a, a figure review on this. And we're going to take a look at his accessories. accessories? I'm sorry. <laughs> I almost said the other word. We're gonna take a look at his accessories and his articulation, so stand by. So he comes with these two flaming swords here. They're about the same, um, the same height as well. They're just, uh, they're basically the same sword. And they have this really, this really nice touch to it. It's like a orange, yellowish color to it. And I think it's, fits pretty well for a character like Ares because Ares and the I'm not, I don't really know too much of Ares but all I know is like from the movie Wonder Woman uh, he basically is the god of war and he I, I think he feeds on war I'm not I'm not if I'm not mistaken just correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below anyway um these are the two swords the flaming swords he comes with and then on um, the other sword it's a basic sword it's got a nice it's got a nice color to it this dry wash paint right here and then at the tip it's got like it's burning I guess I, I don't know but it's got this nice grayish dark gray uh, dry bush color to it <laughs> I'm sorry <clears throat> and that is it for his accessories here so now we're going to take a look <clears throat> at Ares himself so this is Ares here he he's actually a pretty tall figure he he's the size <coughs> he's about nearly eight eight inches but he's a I'd say he's about seven and a half inches right there anyway so that's how tall he is this is I think by far this is like the best Aries figure there is till this day I like I like how they made his well you can barely see it they made his eyes can you see it there uh, just a little bit but I wish they could have gone with the red eyes, how he looks in the comic books. This is how he looks from behind. He's got like this fur thing going on here. And I don't think this is not exactly how he looked like in the Wonder Woman movie. Because one, he did not have this, uh, what, I don't know what this is called, but it's like, it's like an animal. But he did not have this animal helmet in the movie. Instead, he had like this gladiator look to it, but I'm not going to complain too much about it because I think, well, the movie was all right. I think my favorite character throughout the whole movie was Ares himself. Anyway, so he comes with this armor here. And this thing, I you can't, you cannot detach it. This thing here. And I wish for some reason we could remove this head thing so that way we can take a look at his face because I, I really like how he looks here. I just wish they could have added the red eyes. And they're going to take a look at his feet. His, his skin itself is all black. I think that's pretty badass. And his feet here, they're all black. I guess you could see he's got dirty feet from walking around the world like that and war. His hands are black too. And I like how the paint here looks. It's got like that sort of like that metallic look. I don't know if you guys can see it there. So yeah, this is Ares and he's got like battle damage armor here on his shins, I believe they were called shins. 
as well as his gauntlets here. Now, I got this figure recently because I could I could care less about the figures that you had to collect. Because I think, to be honest, they're both before DC figures, maybe like what? A few years ago, two years ago, around that time, the figures were really bad. And don't even get me started with the Suicide Squad figure line. Yeah, that was really, really bad. And I believe since then, DCEU has been upgrading their toys, their builder figures, actually. Because I, I think the builder figures are a lot better than the, figure, the, the figures you have to collect to build the fit the figure. So, I just skipped throughout the whole toy line. Anyway, we're going to take a look at his articulation here. So, his head can look that far. Can you see it? Can move that far. And his arms are about the same. So, they can only go that far because of this part. And his gauntlets, they can move too. And he's got a single elbow joint that's how far it can go he's got a shoulder swivel here and his wrist can go that far because the gauntlet he has here and he's got an upper ab swivel and a hip swivel now for the legs he he has this thigh swivel, goes that far. That's how far it goes. And he's got a single knee joint. His feet can move that far. But he does not have an ankle rocker. And that is it for like the articulation. Now, he can hold the sword perfect anywhere. You can put it on his other arm if you like. That's how he looks like holding it. But, where the flaming swords, they're kind of tricky to put on. Because you got to find this angle. Yeah. Right there. You might want to be too careful because you could break his, his thumb here. Just by trying to put this flaming swords on and this is how he looks like with the other arm with the flaming sword just like that now I think they got this idea from the movie because I think he when he was fighting Wonder Woman he did have some flaming swords I think so I'm not sure I don't remember I haven't seen the movie in a while this is how he looks like holding them So that is it for this video guys. I hope you liked this video. Leave a comment if you want to add something. Uh, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more as I make more videos coming soon. Take care guys and collect, keep collecting figures.